I'm back. New hair. Who this? On you boys. Not really meaning boys. Texas slang. Anyway, so I'm back and I have two things to show you guys. And a review, kinda. Morphe just should go ahead and sponsor me. Like, they should just go ahead and write the little sponsorship for Charm and Shell because they've been getting my business. Okay, so first, I'm gonna show you the brushes that I got for February. Well, I'm probably not gonna do that first. Well, I'm gonna show you the brushes I got for February, the ones out of the January subscription that I liked, and the Morphe 350 palette. So, my favorite out of the January subscription is the M173 brush. It's dirty, I just used it. Don't talk about me. And the M200, is the M200 is a fluffy crease brush. Y'all, <laughs> eyeshadow was all fleek. But that fluffy, crease brush crease brush the m200 is the truth and i would recommend y'all oh, i recommend y'all to buy that brush and this brush the m173 y'all oh that little hair sticking out it's a little dirty but this brush right here y'all okay so i use this brush for concealer purposes i use this to color correct too i color correct with this Use this to buff out my edges and my concealer. Then I'll re-go over it with my beauty blender just to make sure. But y'all, this brush is the truth. And I would like, if anything happened to this brush, I would repurchase this brush. That's how much I love this brush. Like, y'all. And I just use it to blend out everything. Like, this is the perfect buffing blending brush, brush for your face. Like, and it's small so it can get all up in there. All up in there, be getting all that, all that, all that, be getting all that. I'm gonna put a picture of the M200 because I have to. But I didn't find it. I forgot where I put it. It doesn't matter. But these two brushes are the truth, and these are the brushes I got out of the January subscription box. So next, I am going to show y'all the the three five oh, the three five oh, little lock the three five oh palette, y'all. I was so excited. Let me tell y'all the backstory behind this palette. Okay, so I wanted to get this palette when it first came out, but I was like, nah. So I missed my opportunity. It got sold out. So then, like when I joined the Morph Me subscription, Live Glam gave us a chance to get the brush. Get the brush. This is not a brush. This is a palette. Live. Live Morphe gave us a chance to get the palette. But I didn't check my email, so I missed that chance too. So like scrolling through Instagram. And then I see Manny MUA and he was like, the Morphe 350 palette is back in stock. Use my discount code. Hopped on it like white on rice, y'all. I'm so serious. It was $22.90, $22 something. $30 was shipping. Plus the Manny MUA. Something like that, but it wasn't over $30. Like it wasn't even $31. It was like $29 something, $30. Y'all, this palette is the truth okay and for twenty dollars you can go get it because anastasia shout out to her her palettes 37 dollars the rack lorac palettes are 50 dollars naked palettes are 50 dollars 22 dollars and look y'all let me show y'all <sighs> this palette is so freaking beautiful you can kind of see like where i was going in in these chocolate browns down here it's like kind of orangey but it's real neutral and warm and cool on this side if i'm saying that right i'm trying to get my terminology together <laughs> but um it's so pretty and it has some shimmery shades in there like this color y'all i wore this color on my lid i'm gonna put a picture somewhere over here but i wore this color y'all it was so beautiful. I put this, I think it was this one and this one together on my lid. Y'all, okay, so I'm not an eyeshadow beast. Like, I'm not the greatest eyeshadow girl in the world. But for a beginner like me, because I consider myself a beginner in makeup, <laughs> but for a beginner, I would say you get this palette because it's easy. Like, if you want to do glam, just spray a little water, fix plush to get you these these nice shimmery shades on your lid. If you want to do a nice neutral, you got these matte shadows up here right up in here these base shadows like this palette is overall good for a basic girl not a basic girl like not on no basic b status but y'all get what i'm saying okay y'all but now for the february bag so here we go let's shoot so the first thing i pull out of here is the m495 
But at least they package good. Oh, look, it's home with this plastic covering over it. It's really thick, y'all. It is a dual deluxe fan brush. This baby is huge. Like, you know how to... <laughs> I don't want to say the wrong ethnicity or whatever. You know how the little ladies with the little, I think Chinese, Japanese, don't don't come for me. Be like with the fan and they be like, this could pass for that. This brush so big, like, it's it really taking up my face. Like, look, I put it in front of the This brush is huge. How am I going to be on ultra mega fleek? Like, look, <laughs> this brush, this brush might get a lot of use for me. And it's big. I like stuff like that. Eh. <laughs> okay, so the next brush I'm pulling out is the, the M334. It is a mini angled buffer. And if it's anything like your sister over here, <laughs> this is going to be my contour buffer. Instead of using this, I'm going to use this to contour because this buffer right here was the truth. Now I got an angled buffer, honey child. Contour going to be weak. Contour gonna be stacked. Mmm. Has good intentions, y'all. I really do. I think this brush has good intentions, and I'm excited to use this bad boy. The next brush I'm pulling, I'm just pulling them out the, the bag. Y'all still haven't fixed this, Morphe. You still haven't fixed it. Y'all could at least give me a little description, but it's alright. It's okay. It's alright. Um, the M165. The M165 is the angle brush. It's thick. It's an angled liner and brow brush. Angled liner and brow brush. I had to say that again because I feel like I was getting tongue tied. But yeah. The, they sent a, a brow brush in the last month and I haven't used it. So I doubt I'm going to use this one. But whatever. Next brush is the M169 brush. Oh, yep, the M169 brush. This is clearly a pencil brush. Yep, it's a, oh, excuse me, it's a round crease brush. I have a feeling I'm going to get great use out of this because my, um, I have an e.l.f. brush like this that was only a dollar. And my baby holding on for dear life. And if this works as well as I think it is, because if y'all feel it, it's really tightly packed. But it's fluffy at the same time, so... It's going to get, when you put in that color, trying to make that outer V, when you put in that color right here, concentrating that, I feel like this brush is going to get good use. Next time I do this in my eyeshadow, I'm going to use it. And I'll let y'all know how it is when I get next month's um, brushes. The next brush I received is the M333. This is a fat brush. It's a chiseled shader. They sent like 20 shader brushes <laughs> in the last box. But I guess they really want us, our eyeshadow be on fleek. I know why. They sent us these so we can use them with the 350 eyeshadow be on fleek. I haven't used the, any other any of the other shader brushes. Why am I so tongue-tied today? I haven't used any other shader brushes though. But I'll try it out. It's really thick, y'all. This brush is super thick. Super thick. So the next brush I have is the... M218 and it is a blending fluff brush. Okay, if this brush, it feels like the crease brush. It feels like the M200 I was talking about. But it's a blending brush because it has like a different shape and it's kind of flatter. If this brush works like the crease brush, I'm going to fall in love with Morphe, okay? That should sponsor me anyway, but <laughs> I'm going to fall in love with Morphe because this brush is soft. I can't wait to use it, but this is a blending fluff. And last but not least, I'm big free to give it to you one more time. I'm sorry, I had to say that. I don't know why that popped in my head when I say last but not least. But anyways, this is the last brush I have in my pack, and it is the M224. This is a oval camouflage. Yeah, it's an oval camouflage brush. That's the description. I see a lot of people use this brush with not this particular brush, but a brush of this shape and with these same yellow fibers, yellow hairs, whatever you want to call them. Or to do their concealer for their brows. So I'm going to try and use this brush because I use an angle brush right now and then I use my buffing brush to brush it out. But I might try to see how these two bad boys work under my eyebrows. It might be the truth. But I just don't know if I could master like going under there. 
don't know. I'll try. I received seven brushes. And I'm excited to try them all and let y'all know which ones is worth buying and which ones aren't. If y'all want to see more videos like this, like, comment, rate, subscribe, connect with me. I just made a Periscope, Charming Shell, Instagram, Twitter, Charming Shell. Except my Instagram had an underscore on it, the E, because people were adding some random and that's not me. But I will talk to y'all later. Bye.